Hello everyone, this is Satya Bradash and I'm from Midnapur Medical College. Today I'm going to discuss about mechanism of phototransduction inside a rod cell and a bit further too. So over here we can see that there is a rod cell. So the light strikes the retina and the rod cell over here. Inside the rod cell, 11 cis retinal is converted into 11 trans retinal we can see. So this 11 trans retinal is responsible for conversion of rhodopsin into meta rhodopsin 2. This meta rhodopsin 2 is responsible for stimulation of a G protein called as transducin, this triangle over here. So this transducin or G protein is responsible for further activation of CGMP phosphodiesterase. This CGMP phosphodiesterase is responsible for breaking down of cyclic GMP to GMP. Now, this cyclic GMP is quite important because in normal conditions, this cyclic GMP goes and binds to the sodium channels in the dark and lets uh, them in an open state, okay, keeps them in an open state because of which continuous influx of sodium ion is present. Now, what uh, this leads to is that good amount of receptor potentials can move down the axon and thus it will stimulate the voltage gated calcium channels at the axon terminals okay so that will lead to influx of calcium ions into the axon terminals and it will lead to stimulation of the glutamate containing vesicles in over here okay these contain the neurotransmitter glutamate and thus since they are stimulated uh, glutamate will be released from them okay but over here light is falling on the rod cell and finally CGMP phosphodiesterase is activated thus there is no cyclic GMP so it cannot go and bind to the sodium channel and thus there is no influx of sodium ions from the sodium channel but at the same time sodium potassium ATPase pump is active and it is leading to efflux of sodium ions right because of which there is a net efflux of sodium ions from the rod cell this leads to the inside of cell of the rod cell becoming negative and thus this hyperpolarizes the cell this causes an ipsp or an inhibitory postsynaptic potential so very little receptor potential will move down the axon and thus what will happen is that very less calcium entry will take place inside the axon terminals via their voltage gated calcium channels as they are inhibited right so if low amount of calcium is getting inside the uh, axon terminals very less amount of glutamate is also released as i have already said why it happens so generally the glutamate is an excitatory neurotransmitter but in this case of photoreceptor to bipolar cell paradoxically low amount of glutamate actually stimulates the bipolar cells it may be because glutamate must be causing some mechanism where bipolar cells are getting rid of cations so low amount of glutamate if present will lead to less amount of cations leaving the bipolar cell thus the cell remains positive or the cell is depolarized this leads to receptor potentials being produced thus EPSPs or excitatory postsynaptic potentials are produced so what will happen is that it will lead to stimulation of the calcium uh, channels okay which is the voltage rated calcium channels thus calcium entry into the axon terminals will take place and thus glutamate will be released from the axon terminals of bipolar cells so that will lead to stimulation of the next layer of cells that is the ganglion cells and generation and movement of action potentials across them okay so in summary if we talk about mechanism of phototransduction inside the rod cell we can see in over here that in case of uh, if light falls on your rod cell then 11 cis retinal is converted to 11 trans retinal 11 trans retinal goes and converts rhodops into meta rhodops in 2 and then this meta rhodops in 2 will stimulate transducin which will further activate pd which is a phosphodiesterase and this phosphodiesterase converts cyclic gmp to only gmp right and since cyclic gmp is absent na plus ion channels will close sodium channels will close but sodium potassium atps is open because of which the photoreceptor or the rod cell is hyperpolarized 
this hyperpolarization leads to less amount of glutamate being released and thus activation of the bipolar cells and other cells of the next layer through local poten graded potentials okay basically the ipsps epsps okay so yeah thank you everyone